Good morning. So today is Monday and I'm currently just about to leave the house to go to my ultrasound. Um, I have ultrasounds every two weeks. So I thought I'd vlog today because me and my boyfriend are going to be doing stuff preparing for baby and that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd just bring you along. Currently it is 9.27 in the morning and my appointment is at 10. But um, I talked about this before. They consistently run 30 minutes late, even though they say to show up 15 minutes early. So then I end up sitting there for 45 minutes. It's really frustrating. So I'm probably going to get there closer to 10 when my actual appointment is, which is fine with me. But anyways, um, yeah, it is really, it's kind of chilly today, actually, which I'm surprised about. Hence the reason I have this big scarf on. But um, it is 7 degrees or 7 degrees Celsius, which I think is about 40 Fahrenheit. Not sure. So, yes, we are getting into Canada weather very soon. It's approaching the end of August, which means no more sun. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's just get going. So, I somehow got here in 15 minutes. There was zero traffic, which I guess is good, but now I just get to go wait in the doctor's office. So, um, I'll film as much as I can in there, like in, sorry, the ultrasound clinic thing, but it's a little uncomfortable, and when the tech's there, I won't. So, yeah, let's see what I get. So I am just finishing my appointment now. Um, it is just about 12 o'clock and everything takes forever here and it's really frustrating because you just sit and wait like a lot of the time but I get that they're busy and that's fine. I'm all done now and uh, both babies are almost four pounds which I am super excited about. So yes, um, I'm just gonna go pick bread up and we're gonna run some errands. So it's the next day, but I thought I'd show you what I picked up yesterday. Um, this vlog is probably going to be a combination of a whole bunch of days just doing stuff, getting ready for baby. So we picked up this shelf and these IKEA brackets. The IKEA brackets are like a dollar and then the shelf was like six dollars, so super cheap to put above this sign on this wall, if you can see. Because the baby monitor, we turns out we live in an older house. The only outlet that works is behind here, so we have to put it up here to look at the crib. So my boyfriend is going to have to set that up tomorrow or I'll do it or my mom will help me, but it is gonna have to go up to make so this room can finally get done and I can film an official nursery tour. Next thing I picked up was some more baby clothes with my mom. So I decided, someone commented on one of my videos saying that their newborn at six pounds and some ounces didn't fit in newborn clothes, they need the preemie clothes. So since my babies will be born no later than 37 weeks, they're currently four pounds, right, as I mentioned, but they expect their growth like to slow down a bit. They're not going to proceed as fast as normal babies would because they typically say a pound every two weeks. So if I have five weeks left, that makes them about six pounds, but they say with twins, you should expect to slow down. So I wanted to get some creamy clothes, just a couple things, just so they, just in case they're very small, they fit in, they have clothes that fit. So I picked up this from Carter's. It is a little, you know, I love the feet. It's so cute. So, and again, I got it in preemie and it was $12. At my Carter's store, they keep the preemie clothes behind the counter because I guess people buy them for dolls and they don't let them because I guess preemie clothes are very hard to find. So next I got these little fleecy outfits. They will be born in the fall and where I live in Canada, it gets kind of chilly. So these will just keep them nice and warm. And then this I got in newborn, not preemie, because one, it looks pretty small and they only had one of this. So I put the other and hold it up another store so I have to go pick that up. It has a little floral in the hood. This was $18 and these were $14 each. So yes, that is what I picked up from Carter's. So it is currently 1030 on a Thursday. So again, it's a cumulative vlog, but I dropped my boyfriend off at, everybody driving by is looking at me like I'm crazy, but um, I dropped my boyfriend off at an appointment he had downtown at 10, 
but to drive back to our house it's like 20 minutes so then I thought you know going home and then sitting there for 20 minutes is like what am I gonna do for 20 minutes you know and then I have to leave again so I decided to go to Starbucks very exciting news pumpkin spice lattes are back I know totally very white of me but I love pumpkin spice and I have been craving pumpkin spice like there is no tomorrow so I'm so excited that it is back um, yeah so I got a venti pumpkin spice latte I'll show you it's very exciting and then I also got a ginger cookie which is already gone and now I'm just driving by my dad's house so my dad is building a house right now and being the creeper that I am I'm driving by and looking at it to see like how far along like they're pretty good like they're almost ready to like stucco the outside which I'm really excited for to see like the color of it but yeah that's kind of what I'm doing right now nothing too exciting I'm not gonna show you the house because I think that's kind of creepy but Gemma is here beside me so yeah that's kind of what we're doing right now and then uh, later I'm gonna do some stuff around the house preparing for babies um, my dog was very bad and she made a disaster of my living room yes I left her alone for a couple hours yesterday when I went to the mall with my mom and I don't know if it's because I haven't been leaving her alone very often but she was really mad and she destroyed a car seat box I'm not really sure but I'm really upset about it because I had changed my mind about what car seats I was getting so now I don't know if I have to keep that car seat because the box is destroyed like it's I'll show you yeah I will show you when I get home so yeah that's what I'm up to right now this is the mask she made so yeah I'm not really sure what's gonna happen with this and if I'm gonna be able to return it or yeah the car seat itself is fine but yeah this is the mess so the shelf is up I think it looks quite nice here I'll back up so you can see I know this cord is a hazard so for now it's not an issue because like obviously they can't get it but um, I'm not really sure about what we'll do in the future once they start like playing in this room and stuff because when even when they can like move or roll around they will never be left alone on the change table so I'm not sure about what we'll do that with that long term but the shelf is up it looks nice it is not crooked even if you think it is it's not because I used a level very impressed with myself so I'm gonna start packing my hospital bag which I am putting in my diaper bag so yes um that's what i'm gonna start doing now so i picked up an extra um sheet here for the changing pad it's just the exact same one it's just so if it gets dirty and then i also picked up this sheet it's an extra crib sheet um it's like jersey material it's really soft and it matches like the colors in this room and then i also got these little toy they're like hook things if that makes sense so this is a list of stuff to bring to the hospital that they suggest and then I've just kind of started packing and putting everything in here so I think I'm gonna end this video here if you did like this video please do consider subscribing if you have not already thank you so much for watching bye